Uh, so we have a wave on a rope, and we're given that it oscillates at a frequency of 40 hertz. Let's write down everything we're given with an amplitude of 3 centimeters. It has a linear mass density mu of 50 grams per meter. And the tension is 5 newtons. First, we want to find the speed of the rope. And we can use our handy equation, V is the square root of, root of F over mu. Uh, and that tells us that it is plugging in uh, the tension here and mu here. That tells us that it is 0, uh, oops, it is 10 meters per second. B, we want to know uh, what the function is that describes the wave. Uh, the, the wave. Actually, I skipped ahead. That's part C. Part B is we want to find the wavelength. We can use lambda, our equation lambda is equal to uh, V over F to tell us that it's 10 meters per second over 40 hertz, which is 0 0.25 meters, and that gives us lambda. Then finally, see here, we want to find the function y of x t that describes this wave. And we know that our uh, for traveling waves, our waves are described by the function a cosine of kx minus omega t. Um, and k here is 2 pi over lambda. Omega here is 2 pi f. And so we just plug and chug what we have. This is going to be 3 centimeters times cosine of 8 pi radians per second times x minus 80 pi radians per second times t. And then finally, uh, well, not finally yet, but for part D, we're asked to find uh, the maximum transverse acceleration. And the transverse velocity, y, first, is going to be the time derivative of, so v sub y is going to be the time derivative of y, x comma t, which is going to be omega a sine of kx minus omega t. And then the transverse acceleration is going to be the derivative of the velocity, which is going to be minus omega squared a times cosine of kx minus omega t. And so this whole quantity here attains a maximum. So cosine has its extrema at plus or minus 1 here. And so a max is going to be omega squared a, which is equal to 1,890 meters per second squared. And in this problem, uh, we ignore gravity completely. And so part E wants to wants to know, is it a valid approximation to ignore gravity in this? Well, if you compare the acceleration, the maximum acceleration of the rope, to the acceleration of gravity, we see that uh, 9.8 meters per second squared, which is the acceleration of gravity, is much, much less than A max. And so we're going to say, yes, it is totally fine to ignore gravity here because it's very small uh, compared to the accelerations that we're dealing with in the rope.